Hello, everybody, and welcome back to A Swift Look. I'm Zoe, and today we're going to be discussing Taylor Swift potentially joining the MCU, why air travel to Europe has spiked so much thanks to Taylor Swift, some more details about Taylor and Travis's time in Italy, and a few other things here and there. So let's dive into the first piece of news, which is the rumor that has been floating around social media that Taylor Swift recently had a meeting with one Mr. Kevin Feige, who is the head honcho, the main man in charge when it comes to anything and everything Marvel. Now, there have been rumors for a while that Taylor Swift is going to appear in the new Wolverine Deadpool movie as Dazzler. This has not been confirmed or denied. There's They've been asked, Ryan Reynolds was asked about it. He didn't give a answer really either way. Of course not, right? He wouldn't. He wants, if she isn't in it, he still wants you to think she is in it, so you go see it. And if she is in it, he's not going to reveal it until the movie comes out, right? Um, so he didn't really give an answer either way, though there have been other rumors that have suggested that she will be in the movie, just not as Dazzler. She'll be in it as herself as Taylor Swift, um, which honestly makes more sense um, just given like the nature of Deadpool and kind of what that movie, I don't know, I feel like that movie always kind of has like interesting cameos and um, I wouldn't be surprised to see Taylor as Taylor in that movie. Um, but let's say she's not Dazzler and that rumor is not true, then we could maybe dive into the idea that maybe she'll play some new character in the MCU. So according to a insider, and I say that in quotes because, you know, again, these are all rumors. I want to make that very clear. Uh, Taylor had a, quote, good meeting with Kevin Feige, and they are discussing a role in the MCU. Now, this is not, this would not be super shocking. Taylor has acted before. She's been in actually kind of a lot of movies over the course of her time as a celebrity. Um, she was in the Cats movie. She was in uh, Valentine's Day. She was in the movie The Giver. I mean, she's done like a decent number of acting roles um, in, in her time. Doesn't have the best track record when it comes to picking acting projects. Like she hasn't been in the best movies, not necessarily her fault, um, but it wouldn't be shocking for her to say yes to an acting role like this. This is also not the first time the MCU has courted a very famous pop star. If any of you saw The Eternals or heard about who was in The Eternals, Harry Styles appears at the very end of the film as Eros, who's Thanos' brother. Still unclear as to whether or not he'll actually be in a future movie. The Eternals didn't do very well, both like review wise. And then also at the box office, I don't think it was like a massive success. Um, so it wouldn't be shocking for them to make this partnership though. I kind of wonder if this, I like the MCU a lot. I'm a fan of those movies. I watch a lot of those movies. I don't know that I need Taylor Swift in the MCU. And I say that as a massive Taylor Swift fan and as an MCU fan, um, I guess it would depend on the character, the role, who she'd be, how much she'd be in the project. Like we, we need more details. We need more information. But it's curious, it's interesting, and I would love to know if you are an MCU fan, um, which character would you want to see Taylor Swift play if she were to play somebody in the MCU? Who could you see her portraying? Would you want to see her in those kinds of movies? Please let me know in the comments because I'm very curious how other people feel about this um, because I'm still sort of unsure about it. Okay, let's move on to the next piece of news, which is that air travel from the U.S., to Europe is spiking this summer. And not just because of your usual summer travel, it is specifically spiking because of Taylor Swift's concert in Europe. So United Airlines revealed that demand for flights to Lisbon, Portugal, which is where Taylor Swift is performing this upcoming weekend, is up 25% for this upcoming weekend compared to last summer. So makes a lot of sense. Taylor Swift's performing anywhere, people are gonna go. But it even makes more sense for Americans because in a lot of places, a lot of cities, it is actually cheaper for an American to buy a plane ticket to go overseas and then buy a Eras tour ticket to see Taylor Swift than it would be to just see Taylor Swift 
in this very country. The resale tickets for her shows next fall in the States are astronomically high. They are so incredibly high. And if you were somebody who hadn't hasn't had the chance to see Taylor Swift yet, she's really only playing in, I mean, she's playing in Canada in the fall, but she's playing in Miami, Indianapolis, and New Orleans. I think those are the three cities in the US that she's performing. If you don't live in Miami, Indianapolis, or New Orleans, and were able to get face value tickets, you would still have to fly or drive or make a trip to one of those three cities, pay thousands of dollars for one ticket that probably isn't that great of a seat on the resale market, not to mention hotels, accommodate, I mean, all that other stuff, right? Expensive. Why not spend that same amount of money and just fly to Europe and go on a wonderful summer vacation in a beautiful country and spend the same amount of money. Like it just, it just makes total sense. So I, I don't, I'm not surprised that a lot of Americans are traveling to Europe this summer for these shows. Um, cause it's basically going to cost the same amount that, than it would to go to, uh, to a show in the States. So if you're going to a Taylor Swift tour this summer, let me know which one you're going to, cause I'm very jealous and I wish I was going. And I tried to get tickets to go this summer, um, last year, but didn't get any tickets, which is unfortunate, but I am going in Indianapolis this year. So I'm excited about that. Okay. Now we got some more information, some sourced information about Taylor and Travis's Italy trip. We know they were on Lake Como. They went on a wonderful, you know, evening stroll. They went on their boat. They had candlelit dinners together. So this is what a source told people about Taylor and Travis's first night in, in, in Italy. On the first night, they went for a long walk around the lake at night. It was very romantic. At times they walk, they would walk hand in hand. They would also exchange a kiss every so often. Then for their boat excursion, um, someone said Taylor got on, on the boat along the side and then went right away to the front and started taking photos of him, him being Travis. It was clear that she was trying to capture the moment for posterity. And the cute thing was that she didn't use a phone, but a little Olympus camera. Now, Taylor Swift fans, we all know about Taylor's camera because you can tell anytime a photo is posted that is from Taylor Swift's camera because it has that filter on it. Um, So we talked about the boat ride before, but it just seemed like they were really trying to capture the moment. Now, why they were trying to really capture the moment, who knows? Maybe it's just because they're a couple in love and they want to remember this Italian vacation. Maybe it's because something really, really big happened on this trip that they wanted to document. We will find out in due time, but it was very sweet. Also still very curious, like, I feel like Travis's summer is going to be a whirlwind for him. Like, he's got camp stuff for the Chiefs. He's got tight end university, which is a camp he he kind of helps run for tight ends in the NFL every summer. I mean, he just has all this stuff going on. Plus, his girlfriend is on this tour in, in like, a country far far away or a continent far away. And I feel like he's just going to be going back and forth and back and forth from the States to Europe the whole summer, but I guess he can travel pretty easily and efficiently and comfortably, which is something that you and I don't have the luxury of doing all the time. Um, But yeah, I'm excited to see what else they get up to this summer, what else they find themselves doing. Rumors that they're going to be in Portugal this weekend. We'll see. Again, don't worry, we'll cover every single second of everything that happens here on this channel. We will not miss a thing. Speaking of this channel, I would love to know if you guys have any suggestions of what you would like to see me do on this channel. Do you want more rankings? Do you want hot takes? Do you have any video ideas you'd like me to make? Like any and all thoughts, feelings, concerns, please put them in in the comments because I want to make sure, of course, along with all the news and stuff that we get coming out about Taylor. Uh, I want to make sure you guys are getting the content that you want and that you want to see and that you want discussed. That's what we're here to do. So as always, make sure to subscribe to our channel, follow us on social media, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.